Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of Let's Play oh, Cold Waters in the 1968 campaign as a sturgeon. I don't really like our name, Apnos or whatever, but it doesn't matter. So we had some report, I didn't really understand it frankly, so let's reread the briefing. Um, uh, by the way, I, I also loaded uh, two surface torpedoes to homing. I'm probably going to use the homing for everything, including sinking warships. I just figured we'd load two to try to give it a shot, <laughs> but I'm not... Uh, merchant ships, replenishment ships, these, if they don't detect us, we have a chance at actually being able to hit um, without... Yeah, we need to fire a spread, and I, I've never fired a spread in cold waters. It's, <laughs> so, it's only something I've done in Silent Hunter 3. <laughs> uh, anyway, satellite recon confirmed enemy raider ships to the Soviet coast. Oh, so the raider group is moving back and we know that a replenishment force is going to help them. But where do they mean enemy... Like, what What are they talking about Soviet coast? They can't possibly mean in the Barents Sea. Can they? Was this line established yet, by the way? Gonna hang over here. This is slightly deeper water. Ah, wait. I don't think we care about that. That's not a replenishment group. Although it is an enemy, and we want to sink enemies, so there it is. I think I let go. Nope, we're going 20. Okay, that's fine. Contact bearing 105. We'll load appropriate. Ordnance for the occasion. 105, all hands man battle stations. Rig ship for ultra quiet. 105, let's put our Come nose on. Two, zero, nine, three. Helm, I. Zoom out. Lost contact, I guess. Contact faded. Yep. When we go quiet, that Com, should our change again. There we go. Zero, four, designated Expecting zero, this to be a submarine. One. Con, sonar, new contact bearing, one, six, three, designated Sierra, Another two. Foxtrot. Con, sonar, Sierra, I don't, actually, one, is this not is classified oh, as submerged Ah, there it is. It's a Romeo. Con, sonar, Sierra, even better. one, is classified two. as submerged submarine. Con, helm, steady course. Not quite. No. No. Huh. Could be a merchant. Yes. Con Sonar, Sierra 2. Okay, let's focus on this Romeo then. She's about at the same depth as us. Let's make our depth 300 then. Not good for detecting sound waves. I think, I believe, just going by what I heard from, I think, Jive, Jive Jerky on this. I believe that the best thing to do is put yourself halfway between the bottom of the, or where the layer is and the bottom of the ocean. Uh, the, the sound waves will congregate or converge towards the center. But I don't know if this is true. There's no layer. I really don't know how true it is anyway. I'm just. I believe I heard that, and I believe, if I did hear that, that Jive Turkey is correct. He should know, right? Jive Turkey, for those of you who aren't familiar, is a uh, another YouTube channel. He's a retired sonar operator, U.S. Navy. So who would know better, right? It's very quiet here. We probably don't have to deploy with actives. We probably can use passives. My fear with passives is they seem to be more easily defeated by uh, noisemakers. Let's make our heading... Let's turn slightly so we can get a better targeting solution. Zero two zero. Left two, zero, two, zero. Helm I. And actually make my depth three five. Oh, she's going. She's heard us. Come right to zero nine. Pretty sure eight, we're gonna expect to launch I. any moment now. Prepare to launch ourselves. No, actually we'll hold on to our torpedoes. We should actually give them something to worry about, though. Otherwise, they're not going to need to dodge. 
Go down 350. Turn to launch. Tube 1 with active to scare her more. 097. I think she's a lot closer. It's just a couple of pings. A Soviet active sonar, I believe, was better than the United States version. Okay. Con, helm, steady course. Come She's left changing two, too quickly zero, to nine, be that two, far away helm, at this... Well, she is going 11 knots, but... Con, dive at three, five, zero, eight, okay, prepare to five. launch. Tube 1. It's just going to be to scare her. And then we're going to try to catch up in the meantime. Oh god, she's close. Con, helm, steady course. It's passive, she can't detect us, but if we wait long enough, maybe... Maybe we can get in her baffles. Alright, right, uh, left slutter, <laughs> rudder, slight left. Just give me that five degree angle. I want to slowly keep my nose focused on her so that active is less likely to detect us. We're actually going to slow down a little bit more using this technique I have not yet deployed. Go to three knots. Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. See if that helps us with passive ball. I have to drop from two to one. Con maneuvering, making turns for three knots. Alright, rudder full left, because we're going so slow the rudder won't have much of an impact. Passive is cannot detect us, but active is doing better and better. I think we split the difference. Let her go active here. And I assume that she'll take some kind of counter measure I you know oh torpedo evasion she's climbing just gonna wait her out here slightly less keeping my nose on by the way reason I'm doing that for those who aren't aware I'm just trying to decrease the profile of my uh, submarine the aspect ratio like if the sonar, if the active is giving her this versus this, I'm much more visible. It just gives you a return on... Oh, she's captain. Okay. That is a good sign. A bad sign, but also a good thing that she's kind of making herself more of a target. Go to the surface. Actually, I think that we don't need to go to the surface because we're close enough to the surface. Actually, I want to make my depth 300 now. Make depth. Die by. Slowing back down. Prepare to launch. I think we did the right thing to wait. Come left to zero five five. Helm I. And she's still up there. We can still see her. Oh, she she must not have detected us if she's about to give us her baffles. She must have detected us, though. She's not active anymore. As soon as we do this, she's going to know where we are. Okay, let's try to guide this in. Must be able to detect us. Just gonna wait. Or that mouse so much as far from gonna blow her right to Mars. Con helm, steady course. She's opening up again. You'd almost have to be, like, in amazement that they aren't firing at you if you were them, right? Why are they doing? Just waiting for us to shoot at them? 
the mind games. Okay. Been threatening it for a while, but if she keeps coming back this way, we have no choice. Launch. Hey, okay, shoot tube one. Shoot tube one. Aye, sir. Con sonar. Launch transient from right. Sierra. Emergency dive. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Rudder full right. Con fire control. We've lost the wire. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Rudder full left. Con passing 500 feet. Passing 600 feet. Trying to get under them. Trying to get under them. Passing 700 feet. Okay, bring the nose up. Passing 800. Straighten feet. course. Passing 900 feet. We did it. Well done. Let's get ourselves behind her while we're already waiting. For, we're actually faster than our damn torpedo. <laughs> now you know why it's sometimes not worth it to launch at all. These damn torpedoes are so slow. Come on, United States. I just would have expected better for you. All right, put me Come right on two, her heel. Zero, four, two, helm, I. Make my depth 600. Zero, zero. Make depth. Six, zero, zero, eight, die by. Con, helm, steady course. We can actually be caught by our own torpedo if we're not careful. And she's diving? Wow. I'm much to do about this now. Wait for that torpedo to go active, which should be happening momentarily. But let's just get behind her, launch another torpedo. The first one's just a decoy. But slow down and actually. Make turns. Not back emergency. Make Just stop. Zero, not Bring our nose towards her so that we don't Helm run into our own torpedo, zero, basically. Zero, eight. Helm, I. Prepare to launch. Ah, shit. Reload. I meant to reload the first Passing one. Prepare to launch torpedo three, which is starboard. One, four, which is port. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing. Zero, zero, five. Okay, level on her course. Two, we should be in her baffles. We are. Five. Helm I. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet will give us five knots. And our torpedo does not appear to have. Con fire control weapon countermeasure homing. Very dangerous for us to be here. All right, let's level out in every con sonar noisemaker bearing three five five. Where, con, we don't want to be too close to this thing. Our own torpedo is just as likely to require us. So, I'm gonna try to get some depth. Passing six hundred feet. I, did I do passive search? I did active just to piss her off. Oh, it looks like she's actually yeah. She's making good progress. Prepare to emergency crash dive if she launches on us. We're going one knot, but active, she can easily detect us. But looking good, looking good. Looks like she, we're gonna get one. Oh my gosh! It's our own. Torpedo. There we are. Okay, so what is her depth? Close to the surface. Countermeasure homing is working. Our noise noisemaker has been dropped. Prepare to send another one to the surface center. The active homing seems to work better than the passive. 
Oh, but this one looks like it might get the job done. And we're right in position if she doesn't evade. Climb, climb, climb. It's not going to climb high enough. This had for just one. I mean, how many weapons do we have? Six. We only have six of these left. I'm gonna hold out hope that this thing can get the job done. We get it. It did. Last bearing zero. It did it. Seven. Contact wow. It magnetic. I've never seen that before. That's the first magnetic detonation from these torpedoes that I've seen. It's amazing. And we got very lucky that that was enough to take her out. So both of the other. Um, by the way, <laughs> collision avoidance procedure. <laughs> get out of the way of this falling submarine while we're at it. Okay, make my depth five. Well, four zero zero. I guess that's going to be the end of this. Uh, the end of this mission. Make turns one zero maneuvering eye. Put me somewhere west. There she goes. I'm sure, you can hear her very clearly. All those bubbles, everything. We can definitely hear she's making her way to the bottom. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna probably use two surface ones for this surface target when whenever we finally get her. So you can see that the problem with this submarine is it's not fast and unfortunately it is um, not quite enough to get close so it's what what tactic do you, do you use Denmark falls to the communists uh oh Denmark's government has called for a ceasefire following the Soviet naval invasion control of the country is now the hands in the hands of the occupying force. Past week, successes and drawbacks in military operations seem to have been have been experienced equally on both sides. Control of the Atlantic is still an even contest between Soviet and NATO fleets. Yeah, well, the thing is, I have no idea where this is supposed to be happening. Let's go to the brief again. Uh, it says towards the Soviet coast. I believe that they want me over here. They're crazy. Hopefully here. I mean, that would be even terrible. It's still terrible, but... He's doable. Yeah. All right, contact 288, this is bad. Very bad. We're going flank speed. Let's reload that surface. 288, oh, hands, man, that's a so quiet. Ultra quiet. Well, let's see what we have. Nothing. Come right to one seven seven helm I. Make turns for Just ultra four, ultra nine, quiet. Maneuvering eye. Very very scary. Con maneuvering, making turns for four knots. Come right to two one five helm I. It's practically behind us. Uh oh. Come right to Death under two, kill. Five, Nothing. Six, helm I. There goes our ability to crash dive, and the reason why the skipjack's not a bad decision. Depth 
Con, Helm, steady course. All right, give me dive something. Three, five, zero Got feet, it. dive by. Cavitating. Well, we know what this is. Merge contact. And it's capable of cavitating, which is scary by itself. Ah. A November. Con sonar. Sierra one okay. is classified as submerged. Come right to three two. Our heading. Helm I. Three two three. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing three two three contact. Let's make five knots. Turns four five knots. Bring ship for ultra quiet. Come right to three, two, four. Helm I. Con helm. Steady course. Let's see if we can get a peep out of her again before we speed away again. Make depth three zero. I put myself right in the middle. So hopefully we get the most sound waves that way. Another I've heard another person saying that sound waves accumulate on the bottom, so go deeper. You know, what, what's the story? I'll wait for people in the comments to tell me. Or maybe it's... I'm sure there is a physical an correct answer. Like, physics is at work here. Sound waves. Come right to We're going to spend most of our time in this campaign probably on the higher time compression. Being a little more sneaky. This is nothing like the normal Tortuga. <laughs> Which is funny, actually, because I should say that's nothing like the normal Tortuga in Cold Waters, but it's exactly like the normal Tortuga. If I'm playing Silent Hunter or anything, I, I just I don't mind playing very patiently. And that's how I expect to play this. So we're going to just keep creeping along. She, we only heard her because she was cavitating. She's very noisy, so I do... Oh, it's extremely noisy out. Oh, God. Okay, this... So active is going to be the way we're going to do things. Torpedo countermeasure is going to be extremely difficult. Make depth one zero zero feet dive by. Playing for the worst here. I suspect when we get to her, we're going to be right on top of her. We're going to flank speed right below the torpedoes, hopefully. Con, dive at one, zero, Planning zero, ahead. Eight, dive by. And unfortunately, I think the depth is getting shallower. Five, seven, eight. I mean, according to this map, we're moving towards shallower waters. Still haven't heard a peep. It's just really stormy conditions, which they don't really model. I mean, this doesn't look like that stormy of water. I imagine this area is not great in terms of storms and all that. But we may have to get up right on top of her before we he actually are able to hear her. And by that time, it's going to be... It'll be a game to try to get into her baffles, launch a torpedo that she can't counter launch from. Or we'll have to dogleg our torpedo in, which makes a lot of sense. Of course, you really have to know the position to dogleg because... Normally what I do is I just fire down the bearing, and the torpedo can't possibly avoid it, can't possibly, you know, get to where you want it to go if you're dog-legging towards, uh, if you're not dog-legging, if you're just moving down the bearing, because this bearing has to be right, you're getting it. However, if you move to the right, you don't know how much you should move back to the left, so basically if we use this as an example, if I move to the right, I don't know how much I should move back left, I can go left here, I can go left here, but just move down the bearing, yeah, it's, everything's fine. Getting close to this original position. The conditions are so bad I'm tempted to just leave. Okay. It's a November. Should we pursue a little bit longer? Okay, let's do it. Let's pursue a little bit longer. Honestly, active is the best in these kind of conditions. 104 decibels is just a, it's like a raging storm. <laughs> we'll see what we find. Just patience, I guess. If you want, you just click forward in the YouTube uh, the timeline. I'm just going to move in this direction until I hear something. 
So I don't think that they have good radar or anything like that. I think that their active is good, but passive wise, I, we should be able to avoid being detected first. We should detect them first. I'm gonna actually make my depth 250 to try to detect her first. And I guess we just leave. I, I guess there's we're pretty much to the point where we expect her to be. We're not picking up any sound. Now, according to the signature, we were in her baffles, which means she might have been moving away. And if she's moving away, she's definitely going faster than five knots. Okay, so we'll leave. Wow. Three Novembers in that group. And there they are. Let's move to deep water. I know that they're going to get me, but I'm going to move to deep water first. Ha! Oh, oh, there they are. I think we're in deeper water, though. So let's go quickly load up all of these Mark 37s. Now, we're going slow this time, thank God. 347 and battle stations. Attempt number two. Con, sound Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come right to three, four, five. Helm you know what this is. Let's just go right to November. Ah, this is a merchant ship. It's not. It's not on. What the hell is this? Oh. Con sonar. Oh, it's a foxtrot. Classified as a submerged submarine. Okay, that's good to know. Those are practically identical. There is a layer here. Well, that's good. We can play a little bit of games with that. 220. Let's make our depth 200. Make depth 200 feet. Die by. Con, helm, steady course. Just prepare to dive below the layer or stay above it as the condition warrants. Okay, what about this foxtrot? She can detect us. Alright, let's go below the layer then. I need a little more on her though. She's not going active yet, so Come turn. Right to zero, nine, one, helm I. Set the three knots. Make turns for three knots. Maneuvering eye. If she goes active, she will get us, but hopefully this makes us less easily detectable by passive. Con maneuvering. Which means hopefully Make she just won't use her active. Three knots. Come we need right to get a better firing solution on her, and we can do that six, by L moving I. perpendicular to her. Con oh. sonar. Launch Shit. transient from Sierra One. Crash dive. Make turns for two. Launch. Sonar. We are the bearing. Come left to three, four, five. Helm I. I guess I can't. I launched that, but it didn't work. Passing three hundred feet. Passing four. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. Passing 500 feet. Nose up. Passing 600 feet. Now. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra oh One. Very hard left. Come left to two six one Helm I. Come left to two five zero helm I. Another one, huh? Come left to two zero zero helm I. Come right to three five eight helm I. Player. Launch. 
Oh, we can't. We're going too fast. Come right to zero three six Helm I. Skill for, skill for maneuvering. Very well. Passing eight hundred feet. Very well done. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come left to zero one one. How's this thing doing? Con less than fifty feet below the keel. Circling out. It could also engage her. Okay, let's guide this thing manually. Gone fire control, we've lost the wire. Oh, that's not good. Let's try this again. Tube two, we need this one on the wire, please. Let that first one scare them. It's gonna hover at the bottom, it's not where I wanted it to be. Alright, hopefully this one stays on the wire. Shoot tube. Two. Con helm, steady course. Okay, we got this one. So, nice, extremely quiet. I think we will have him do passive Not detection. Sonar. Noisemaker bearing zero one zero. She's on the wire, so we can actually guide her in ourselves. Sonar, noise maker bearing zero, which we're going three, to do. Seven. Take that! I was that the only thing here? Come left to I don't three, know. Four, six, Helm I. So first thing we want to do is clear our baffles. That's not a good sign. Con sonar new contact bearing to come left to. Forget about clearing two, our baffles. Seven, we got a new. But well, we should still. Let's move towards come her. Left to, two, eight, Make our depth seven five zero. Nine. They don't appear to use eight, torpedoes seven, too deep. Seven, five, this is also eight, a fox trot. All right. Let's see what our day holds for us now. Con. Come left to two eight seven helm I. On what? Seven five zero. Good. So she just launched at a completely wrong bearing. Let's reload while she's far away. One hit, uh, two, okay, so one out of two is not bad. <laughs> she's located below the lair. Well, I haven't seen them use torpedoes deep enough to catch me if I'm on the ocean floor. Maybe that's just not a tactic the Soviets are yet familiar with. Okay. She thinks we're down here, so I know it's weird, but I'm gonna move right over this torpedo. Zero eight Helm I. Actually, no. Let's move back towards this other foxtrot. We can use her noise in our favor. Come right to zero three one Helm I. Probably want to keep them on the defensive, though. Con 
Come right to zero three seven Elm I. Con Elm, steady course. I want to kind of hover around this wreck to make, like, obviously, if we don't have to listen this way, we can listen this way, and they can't hear us. But they're forced to listen this way, and they should be hearing mostly broken up sub. That's the idea here, is that they shouldn't be able to actually hear anything about us. Because it's just the noise of this bubbles and all this should just be all that they hear. And plus, anything that they hear from us, they probably should mistake, or they may mistake at least, for the Foxtrot. That was the idea. I don't know if this, such things can be modeled into this game. It's all, com you know, this is a game. It's not real life. But I feel like in real life that would be a good tactic. I want to shoot tube two because that is the one that's actually uh, on the port side. Her depth. So we'll say stay at this depth. We'll use passive detection. Prepare to load the fire. Tube two. Shoot tube two. Shoot tube two. I sir. Keep this one on the wire. We'll keep two four ready. Con sonar. Launch it's transient. Just further from than we thought. Two. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra two. We're heading. Come left con sonar. Launch transient a lot of from launch transients. Sierra 2. What are we looking at here? One directly at us, one they're covering their bases here. Alright, torpedo evasion. Maneuvering eye. Give me this. Where this torpedo is. We lost the wire. Okay, fine. Yep, this is gonna be a problem. Make depth eight zero zero feet. Die by. Yeah, their torpedoes keep heading back to the surface. I'm gonna use this broken up wreck as my friend. We're just gonna sit right behind it. doing? I don't know where the hell this one is. Lost cause, that's for sure. This is the one which might get lucky. Yeah, look at those noisemakers. So what are you doing right now? Con, Elm, steady course. I think it's just not doing anything. Come left to two, four, seven, Elm, I. Shouldn't be able to hear us if she's above the lair. Okay. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's try this again. Are we out of Yeah, we only have these three left. Come 
Come left to two, four, zero. Helm, I. Can make my depth three, five, zero. Hopefully we can hide just below the layer. Three, five, zero feet, die by. There she is. Coming back below for us. Let's go above the layer. On helm, steady course. Come left to one nine six helm I. Come left to two zero two helm I. Okay, we're not very detectable. I assume a launch would be. Just stay where you are because now she's coming back below the layer. She's probably going to hear us very soon. Should we give her a present upon her arrival? It's not going to get there very quickly, unfortunately. Passive, she almost can't hear us at all. But she does have her active blaring, so there's that. What happens if we just try to fool her and get into her blind spot? I mean, look at 15 knots. Our torpedoes can't outrun them. We can do the same thing as last time. I, I don't want to do that quite... Well, we don't have torpedoes, man. We, don't, we can't waste torpedoes. Con, helm, steady course. Come left to two, zero, one, helm, I. Con, helm, steady course. This is such a weird... Like, we can just look at each other. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I can't do anything to you, you can't do anything to me. Con, dive at three, five, zero feet, dive by. Come left to one, nine, three, helm, I. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering I. Make depth four five zero feet dive by. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra two. Con sonar we are cavitating. I don't even think we can make knuckles in this thing. By the way. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Passing five hundred feet. Passing six hundred feet. Passing 700 feet. Do a noisemaker just in case. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Alright, well, this is how we're gonna have to play this then. Come left to. Jesus. We'll just use our incredibly accurate navigation maps. Yeah, you know what? This is how we're gonna do it. Not my preferred method. Con sonar lost contact. Con, less than 50 feet below the keel. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 0, 7, 0. Passing 800 feet. Okay. Con, less than 50 feet below the keel. Come back around. Come left to three. Five. Bring ship for ultra quiet. How is it not targeting his own tor uh, That's incredible. Make 
turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. <gasps> Con maneuvering, making turns for. I thought it was. <laughs> He knows what's happening. I think he knows what's happening. He had his shot, but now it's my turn. And we're not gonna miss. And we don't have to. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing zero eight two. Contact faded. Passing 800 feet. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 1, 3, 0. Passing 800 feet. Kinda wanna stay away from this torpedo. Lost contact. Sierra. It's two. fair. Last bearing zero eight. Con. Con. Knuckle formed. Good. So you can't form form knuckles. Con sonar lost contact. Got Sierra him. two. Last bearing zero seven. And that seven. is contact my friends radio. that. Come left to one six two. Helm high. <sighs> Well, this series is going to give me heart palpitations, probably an aneurysm, but uh, it's going to be exciting. So, <laughs> that's a quite a lengthy episode. There are weapons nearby, which we'll have to just run the clock out on. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. Clear our baffles. Two, zero, seven, seven, helm eye. Con, helm, steady course. Rig ship for ultra quiet. And that's that. Okay, well, um, that's crazy. This is going to be insane, these missions. So, thanks for watching. I might not be able to push two missions in an episode. That's just so slow and crazy. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.